Hey guys. Shh. Everyone's gone to bed. Because they're boring. Now, I know you're all thinking, is this in your room? That's because it's not. Portia thought it'd be great if we did like a room swap to exchange our chi. And then Matt moved out onto a sofa bed in the utility room. The power is like a temporary thing, but she definitely brought a guy back last weekend. She definitely brought a girl home the weekend before that. So I guess her and Matt aren't so her and Matt anymore. I am all for loads of safe sex. But what's with this new online hype? Grinder and Tinder must make a profit from these walls alone. So I've decided to get on it. Because peer pressure, innit? The only problem is that I think I'm going to be shit at it. I mean, it's not as if there's a grinder model out there for me, is it? And that's all I want. Something easy and concise with a description that says, mostly a bottom. Occasional top. Don't tell me to quiet down, there's too much information in me. And as it leaves, it gets quite loud and I forget the things that I don't need to know. But now I see our town and all these lovely things we found just kicking up our feet. These are things that I quite like to keep. But when we're placed in time, it feels like we're doing something right. But when Is Billy here? Yeah, he's still upstairs, lazy girl. Soz, new rule, no swearing in the show, I forgot. Do you want some coffee? I keep vomiting. I don't think it's a good idea. Lauren? Do you think I should get Tinder? Well, I definitely don't think you should get Christian Mingle, mate. If I got Tinder, would you help Hi. me? Hi. Do you have a key for the bottom lock? I can't seem to get the front door open. Uh, I'm Freddy. I'm a friend of Rai Rai's. Well, we're not really friends. We just met last night, but I spent the night here, so... Hi. Could oh, you hey. help me get out? I was just leaving. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Door. Sorry. Uh, how have you been? Uh, it's a bit rough, but okay. Hey, has uh, anyone seen Portia? Oh, yeah, is it? I mean, I, I haven't seen her. Okay. Didn't she? Yeah. Oh, any chance of a coffee, guys? Any chance you could put some clothes on? Nope. Anyway, Mr. High and Mighty, actually. Who was the one coming downstairs at five o'clock this morning looking for the emergency loo? In nothing but your birthday suit, Lawrence. If that's not fair, at least I've got an actual real boyfriend upstairs, Rai Rai, and not half the population of SM4. Right. Last night was fun, yeah. Ooh, coffee. I'll have mine black. Uh, yeah, that's fine because the milk's actually out of date, so there's not mm. really any of it. Although, I may need some sugar. I'm a Tesco's finest boy. None of this weak shit. Right. In fact, bring it to me in bed, would you? Well, someone's played more grinder cards than a spoiled child's Pokemon collection, haven't they? Oh, no one talked to me. I'm going in the garden to lie in a pool of my own shame. Spray bit of water. Dressed. Yeah, I've got a training session at work that I totally forgot about. Uh, did you know Rai Rai had... Yes, thank you, Natalie. I live next door to the boy, had about an hour's worth of sleep, hence why I'm late. Mm. <gasps> ah, yay! Oh, hey, Harry. <laughs> That's nice. I, uh, gotta go, actually. Uh, See you later. Good night.
Yes. I met a beautiful boy and slept on a very sofa with him in his basement. Did you have fun? Yeah. I think we left before it got too crazy. I think. Now I'm just going to be sick. I'm going to find a home for you in the garden today, so no one can find you. We did have your other friends here, but they're not as welcome as you are. Don't worry though, soon everyone will see how amazingly skillicious you are, and together, we'll rule the world. still whoring yourself out on that dreadful electronic device, are you? Come on, stop being such a hermit and come and play with us. Constance and I have been invited to a gala this evening. It's very exciting. Guys, I've just matched with this guy on Tinder. He's got dark hair. He's got a pet spaniel. He's 35, which is a really good age for me. And he looks beautiful. Sounds absolutely horrific, Judith, yes. doesn't it? Oh, Come here, sweetie, let me help you. Uh, move your leg, you're hogging the sofa. Come on. Now, golden rule, Natalie, you must remember that it's all in the breeding, okay? So I'm going to help you out because, quite frankly, your taste is horrific. Uh, so that's a no, Natalie. Uh, Judith, verdict? No, I don't think it's just you. I think all the men need a crash course in how to use Tinder. Mm. I mean, what made this man think that that yeah. was acceptable? Uh, right, right. Constant, sweetheart. Sure. Uh, that boy's still upstairs. He's going through all your games and putting them in cardboard boxes. Did you tell him that was okay? No. For God's sake, I've got to go sort this out, guys. It's time to really get on my nerves now. Harry, I need your help with Tinder. I'm no expert, but all right. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, this one just came back from Brazil and he's got long hair. Yeah, and he looks like he has all the restraining orders, Harry. Next. Oh, this one's definitely Natalie's type. Can I actually see? Yeah. No, you're not in the game. We are doing this for your own good, remember? No, mm. no, 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 no. <gasps> that man was just riding an illustration. I just swiped left. No, how could uh, you? A dream, Sorry. Natalie. Grind is so much easier, man. It's so unfair. If I snapped my vagina and slapped it on a billboard, I'd probably get arrested. Oh, guys. Oh, it was so lovely to meet you all. I know, we didn't get much time to talk, what with the morning doom over. <laughs> but you guys are just so great. So great, so great. So before I go, bring it in. Oh. <laughs> Well, what have we here? Is this a Tinder stakeout I spy with my keen eye? Oh, can you imagine what it must be like to be a woman on the prowl? <laughs> it's a shame though. You just don't get the same dick pics that you do on Manhunt, Gay Romeo, Grinder, Hornet, Squirt, Squint, Scruff, Jacked, Hacked, Whacked, Stacked, Lads, Lads, Fit Lads, Black Lads, White Lads, These Boys, These Toys, Fist Piglets. Oh, you can learn so much more that way. Yeah, no one goes for dick pics though, do they? True. You want a chest pick as well. How about a face? <laughs> Not always important. I'm thinking of trying women as well. Oh, you go for it, girl. I mean, I nearly tried it this one time, but I actually faint at the sight of vagina. I think it comes from this childhood trauma. This one time I was watching Casualty with my mum. <gasps> oh my God, I missed the match. <laughs> Say hi. No. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> He's free this afternoon. Uh, Liam, can I just have a word outside, please, mate? I'll do anything for you, dear. Anything. Right. He needs to leave before I cut him. Amen. Three. Hmm? There are chairs in the house, man. Yeah, the stairs are comfier. Ma? You okay?
Is it because Porsche and, you know? No. It's what we agreed on. What do you think? Well, my uncle was in a relationship with this woman and they were going through a really tough time and uh, they hated each other. Uh, she poured a boiling cup of tea on his face and he had to get surgical reconstruction. But he bought her a flask <laughs> with a lid and she loved it. There was no more tea on anybody's face. She said she was sorry. Now they're great. <laughs> he has to wear a snoring clip. Uh, but, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say so is... you're trying to say that I need to buy Porsche a sippy cup. What I'm trying to say, Matt, is maybe you should just talk to her. Be honest. I think you both need to make compromises. I think it's because I cut my hair. No. I'm the only one that thinks he's absolute crap. Hey, that. Right, right, what's happened to Creepy McCreep's head? Oh, he's finally fallen asleep. So, actually, if we could all keep it quiet, that'd be great. Fafali. We're watching a countdown of the best Eurovision moments and number four was the dancing Russian granny, so this had better be good. It was hideous. He told me about the two cars that he owns. It's swanky flat, which I couldn't care less about. And he breathed like a pug. <laughs> oh, the pugs are cute. I actually think at one point, he wanted to hold my hand. Oh, quick, somebody stop him. He tried to hold your hand. <laughs> Well, clearly Harry's taste hasn't improved since he bought home that Elvis impersonator. Oh, do you remember? God, the dandruff he had was rough. Mm -hmm. And this is where I tell a really funny and resonant Elvis Presley joke. Uh-huh. Uh, can we get back to me? This is my show. Sorry, story. Okay, then show us this guy. Let's have a look. Poor oh, Christ. <laughs> Wait, you actually went on a date with that. Is he wearing Harry Potter's scarf? Do you think he's a wizard? <laughs> he looks like a bad impersonation of Hugh Grant in Notting Hill. Oh, yeah? He's got nice eyes though. Right. He's holding a child, yeah? So any guy who's posing with a child is not to be trusted. Steer well clear. It's the perfect bait. You had a bad date, babe. Get <laughs> over it, it's not the end of the... I'll just be in the kitchen. Quick, play some music. This is nice. Yeah. I always thought it'd be nice to have sex to this song, you know? Hmm. Maybe with this person? No. Oh, yeah. I remember him. He is good in the sack, Harry. You're in for a treat. What? Even no, we can't sex with the same people, that would just be weird. No, it's not. It's not as if I'm going to be in the same room as you, Harry. And this is why it's so good to be in like a long-term relationship, you know. Ooh. I don't have to deal with any of these weird sexual politics. Sex. I will have sex one day. What about my friend Ezra? He's on Tinder, but I know his real life base. Mmm, fleshy. That's rare. Yeah. And it's got to be better than Harry's last recommendation. Cheers, Lawrence. Uh, he just broke out with his girlfriend because she's a vegan. Dreamy. Mm. You got a picture? Yeah. He has lovely long, threaded hair. Oh. And if he's not interested, I've got some really fit clip art men upstairs, circa 2002. <laughs> he's really good. He doesn't wear any shoes because it's so expensive, but I worked out that he spends 45% less of his expendable income than the average 25-year-old male in the South East London area. Mm. 
I'm helping him set up his budget for the year. Just imagine how much money I'd save if I didn't wear shoes. So right? Babe. I'm excited to meet him. Good, he's coming over this evening. What? We're gonna have a meditation session. He can do two things now. Mm. That's too soon. I can't handle two dates in one day. Oh, maybe you're just not ready to have sex this year, Natalie. You're going to have sexual fun again, Natalie. I can tell. I'm not a child anymore Wondering the worth of being more No heart, no soul to rely on Hello? I have a secret I'm pretty sure you have several This one I want to share with you though Maybe I'm not happy with sharing. She has a long tail and whiskers and she's the size of my palm. Don't tell Natalie though, she'll go mental. <laughs> just, just, what? I'll show you. Hello. Ooh. Hey. What's going on? This is my attire for date house night. Do you ever leave? For work, and food, mm. and dates, sometimes. Right. Uh, speaking of leaving, what happened to Lee? Oh. Liam? Liam? I told him we were playing hide and seek, and now I'm a little bit too scared to go back to my bedroom. See, I think you should lay off the old dating apps. I've decided, too much bother. Well, you're full of wisdom now, aren't you, after being on your big date? But the question is, Natalie, are you prepared for the guy who's in the kitchen stinking like wheatgrass. Oh my god, he's here. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do I look? Mmm. Questionable. Or yeah. do, do you mean hippy, dippy, mm -hmm. love me, <laughs> feel me, touch no. me? No? No. I look great. Yeah. You don't. Hey guys, so I know you're all dying to know what happened with me and Ezra. And yeah, he does have lovely hair and a lovely... I don't have to share everything on here, do I? Look, if I'm gonna share anything, it's that for me, dating just sucks. It's so much effort. Yeah, and a bit awkward either way. And even if you do take someone home, they don't always leave. So, I've come up with a new game plan. Me. And yeah, I can dabble in Tinder if I want to, I can meet someone on a night out, and if I actually meet someone, then that's great. But really, it should always be about me. Hey girlfriend! Are you vlogging? Here. It's all about really connecting with your subscribers. No fear, Liam's here. And I'll show you how to end any good YouTube video. You're the milk in my coffee. You're the mom out of my toes. Do I love or do I hate you? Surely can't be both. You're the sea in my seashell. You're the kick in my baby. The light in my heavy. Sometimes I'm barely ready for your.